Falls are the number one cause of fatalities in construction. Falls cause one of every three construction worker deaths. These falls happen in a split second a while workers are on roofs. And another injured after an accident at the Viking Stadium site. Breaking news now in Hazelwood. Investigators tell us a man died after falling. A man from working a roof. on a hangar at Cecil Field is hurt. Witnesses say strong winds blew him yeah, right off the roof. The job claims the life of a construction worker in Vance. It happened at the new Hazmat building at the Mercedes plant Yesterday, this afternoon. Yesterday, he and a co-worker finished waterproofing windows here in Franklin Park when Willoughby tried to climb up onto this sloped roof so he could wash the windows. That's when he fell with his co-worker. Told that he was up working up on that roof when he fell onto the lower roof of this other building. That's about three stories we or 30 with feet. Workers suffering significant injuries after falling almost 30 feet. A man to working a roof. on the heating and cooling system at the Auburn Mall falls to the roof and lands right in the middle of center court 20 feet below. So today we're going to do a uh, very simple install video for people that have just purchased the anchor. Um, and the way that you see the anchor, this is the way that it arrives. Um, it's going to be preloaded with 12 stainless steel cup tip set screws. It's already going to have the safety stickers installed and it's already going to have the D-ring installed. Um, so by now, you should have already read your owner's manual cover to cover. 
you should have uh, already got the anchor into service by doing your uh, data first use, doing your initial inspection. Part of that includes uh, these two top bolts. You want to check torque on these before every use. These are 9 16 inch, um, and these need to be torqued to 90 inch pounds minimum, not foot pounds, 90 inch pounds. Same as these cup tip set screws. So once you've done all that, you really just need two tools to install this. You need uh, your typical screw gun. Um, hopefully your screw gun has a clutch that comes in handy and, and uh, certainly helps speed up the installation. Um, and then you also need a torque wrench, what they call a micro torque wrench that is capable of reading down into inch pounds. Um, this is a quarter inch drive and then with this I have a quarter inch socket bit with a 3 16 inch hex. And that will just be used for the final torquing. Um, so one thing to note, we are using an a inch and a half tall seam. The anchor is, you have an inch and a half of height plus one inch of width. So the, like I said, this seam's only a quarter inch. So I'll show you a little trick we use to speed up installation. But on seams that are inch and a half or shorter, the installation is very simple because the clamp itself is going to sit flat down on the panel. So you don't have to worry during installation on taller seams when the clamp is up off of the panel, you have to be careful that you don't get it uh, tilted to one side during installation. You, you have to hold it nice and straight. So on inch and a half or shorter, it's very simple because it does sit pretty much flat down on the panel. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, one, one tool you might want to have in your toolbox that helps speed things up is just a pivoting bit holder. These are $8 to $10. This happens to be a DeWalt. Um, but uh, this certainly helps because on these shorter seams, these set screws can get real close to the seam, uh, real close to the panel, and it's sometimes hard to get your screw gun lined up with the screw. So these these pivot bits come in handy. So pick one of those up, and uh, and then we include a three sixteenths inch bit with the anchor. It'll typically be taped on top. Uh, this is just a starter bit. You know, get you a hand, get you a couple of these. These do wear out. They get lost very easily. You can get longer ones. Like I said, you can get the pivot. This is a nice accessory to have for shorter seams. But uh, we give you a starter bit, but uh, you know, pick up a couple extras, whatever you're comfortable with, and uh, that should be all you need. So one trick that we do to speed up the installation is I'm left-handed. So what I do is if you notice the set screws, this is what's called preloading. So I've already I've already set one side of the anchor, these six set screws, to about the position uh, that when this is done being torqued, the seam's going to be in the middle and these screws are going to squeeze in so that the panel is squeezed between the two set screws. So I preload these six and I want to load those, I want to put those on the right side of the seam so that my screw gun's in my left hand, which is more comfortable for me. So go ahead and get these nice and in a nice straight line about just off of center, about where the finished position is going to be. And then you just set that over the seam. So you want to make sure um, <clears throat> when you locate this on the seam, you need to have somebody, a competent person on site that uh, knows the proper location to put the anchors. Uh, you want to be four feet from any fall areas, from any edges of the roof. You don't want to be within four feet of the end of the panel either. Um, so make sure that uh, you have a, a proper OSHA approved safety plan of where to mount these anchors before you do anything. Um, so basically once we have it in place, it's about a two minute installation once we start uh, going through setting the, uh, snugging up the first step one is we're going to snug up these six set screws with the screw gun. I know on my personal screw gun with this clutch that with it set on the highest clutch rating of 15, I know that still put, that puts me just under, that puts me actually at about 75 or 80 inch pounds. So we're going to be torquing these cup tip set screws today to 90 inch pounds. So I know I can, I can be on a, a setting of 15. Your, your gun's going to be a little bit different. Um, you could also use, if, you, if all you have is an impact gun, you could use that. But just remember on the impact gun, they don't have clutches. And if you stay on that trigger, it will drive that screw way over 90 inch pounds, which can damage the seam. So we don't want that. So a screw gun with a clutch is the best way to go because you can't, you can set it so that you don't over torque it. Um, so I'll just take my flex bit. Load it up, and we're pretty much ready to go. So, 
So this is our starting position. Like I said, I've got my screw gun in my left hand because that's what's comfortable. And what I'm going to do is snug up these six set screws and I'm going to alternate. I'm going to go here, here, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to go around all 12 screws and I'm going to set everything to 90 inch pounds. Okay, so everything's snugged up. Set that aside. Now I have my torque wrench, and, and, and like I said, this is a micro torque wrench. This reads down into inch pounds. We're going to 90 inch pounds, not foot pounds. With these cup tip set screws, we have two types of set screws that we're certified to use in this. One is the cup tip all stainless screw that you currently, that it comes out of the box with those cup tip set screws already loaded. You can also use an optional set screw that's a nylon tip. It has a nylon bushing in the end. Um, if you use the nylon tip set screws, this process is going to be the same, except you're going to go to 180 inch pounds on the nylon tip. So we're using just the regular cup tip, so it's 90 inch pounds, and that's all written on the, on the safety sticker. So just remember on your torque, whichever set screws you're using, check the torque, and it is very important. That is the number one rule of this anchor, is it has to be properly torqued to work properly. So, um... I just have my quarter inch drive, 3 16 inch hex bit, because I have a quarter inch drive torque wrench. You could have a 3 8 or, or even bigger torque wrench, but uh, that's what I happen to have here. So, Okay, so those are torqued. I'll switch over to the other side. And there you have it. That's properly installed standing seam roof anchor. About two minutes without a bunch of extra talking. So once that's in place, um, you're ready to whatever you're going to be attaching to this. Typically it's going to be a vertical lifeline. Flip in, you're ready to go.